Hello, inspiring professionals. Welcome back to Evolve Quest. Great to see you here again. And in this video, I wanted to um, talk about a question that comes up, used to come up quite a lot in my mind, but now some of the clients are asking me this. Um, that is, is it possible to be deeply spiritual and at the same time very successful? And um, the reason I wanted to talk about it is I've met um, one of my coaching gurus called Michael Neal at one of the, of the events here in London. Neal spelled like N-E-I-L-L, -L, Michael Neal, look him up. And um, he's had an excellent explanation to this, so I wanted to share this with you here, if this is something that you're also wondering about. And, uh, but before we go into it, do subscribe to my YouTube channel because I often share videos here about designing an authentic and fulfilling career and life. And also I'm interviewing Michael um, in a couple of days, so I will post this video here as well. It's going to be a long one hour interview. So um, yeah, so if you push the notification button, you'll hear about it. So. Um, I think what's important is to understand like what I mean here by being spiritual. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean religious, although it, it could. Um, spiritual in a way that how you perceive and show up in the world. I don't know, this is going to be a bit difficult for me to explain. The, the take that Michael has on spirituality, and, um, and I agree with it, and I don't know if I'll explain it correctly here, but it goes like this more or less. Being spiritual is about being fully engaged in the world, so being fully present, and at the same time being fully connected to something that is infinite, being fully rooted in the being, in the present moment, while engaging and doing things actively in the world. So. There's also something about acceptance in this kind of spirituality. It is something about accepting present moment and whatever we're experiencing as it is in its fullness. So not only focusing on accepting the nice things that come to us, like the uh, or the nice emotions or the nice sensations in the body. Um, so you know when feeling joyful and happy and loving, but also being fully present for unpleasant feelings and sensations, you know, like feelings like anger and, and sadness and grief. So we tend to kind of like be drawn towards the, the nice things here and uh, whenever the unpleasant emotions come up and pleasant feelings, we try to kind of get distracted and, um, you know, people have all sorts of strategies for not paying attention to this. And so Michael is talking about embracing all of the, this reality in its up movement and the down movement and, you know, and, and all of it, like feeling happy, feeling sad, and just, just knowing that there's a sense of aliveness and our connectedness to life beyond like what we're thinking about, you know, or how we're judging this situation or this feeling or sensation. Because that's, yeah. So... And what happens is when you are present to the situation or a feeling just as it is, positive or negative, what happens there is that you become more willing to, more courageous, I guess, in a way to take on bigger risks in life because you're fully engaged in the world and you are noticing opportunities around you that otherwise you may step back and think, I don't want to experience regret later, I better not try this out. And yet if you're willing to be present with regret, even though this may or may not happen, you are more willing to do something, you know, to create something new, to try out new things, to take bigger risks, and the bigger risk can also bring bigger rewards in your life and create greater success in your life in all areas. Yes, you know, things may not work out, but in, his, in Michael's understanding of being spiritual, you can be present with that also. You know you can handle it. Yeah. So, and what's the, the really cool thing about it that I'm finding is that not only can you be outwardly successful, so have lots of money, have a nice house, have a prestigious, prestigious job, an amazing partner, 
But while you're experiencing all of that, all those symbols of success, outward symbols, you're also feeling fulfilled and present and connected and to this like aliveness of life at the same time. Which is, I believe, is what we're ultimately looking for behind those symbols of success. I think when we imagine our mind, you know, when we get that next bonus, we'll feel so great, we'll be able to come into the present moment and really enjoy our lives finally. Well, you know, you may notice that what happens is that once you get a, a bonus, you often like you're happy and happy. You're looking for the next one. There's always next thing, next thing out there, isn't it? Well, only, you know, how long can you be happy about a, a great paycheck? 26 seconds, I guess. And um, yeah, and eventually what we're looking for is this feeling of being alive, connected and present to whatever is, whatever unfolds in front of you. And so I love his um, way of coaching from this changing the inner world first, so that the outer world, you can first of all enjoy more of the success in the outer world and you can be more present to it as well. Yeah, so I know this can be a little bit cryptic and there's of course more to mention and deeper to go, way deeper to go into the subject. I do recommend watching Michael's videos because he describes it in a, um, yeah, I mean, it's amazing the way he talks about these things. So, um, and yeah, please leave me a comment. Like, is this resonating with you? Does this sound crazy? Um, and maybe you have any follow-on questions and I could also ask those questions to Michael when I'm interviewing him in a couple of days. And yeah, I hope to see you here next time. Remember to subscribe and see you soon.